Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. A quick moment of silence for that player character that died in our most recent adventure. Whether it's in the jaws of a zombified dragon or the slow death drowning in a gelatinous cube, sometimes our PCs are going to die. But that's okay. It's Dungeons and Dragons. We have access to clerics with high-level spells and temples and priests that can resurrect the dead. Some of the deities will look down upon a character and decide to give them one more chance. So rather than rolling up a new character, perhaps we can use one of today's quests to have some fun at our gaming table with a PC that's died and wants to be resurrected. Today we're going to take a look at quest ideas for cheating death. <laughs> So I have quite a few quest ideas that I'd like to present today, so I'm going to be a little general on each one. But feel free to use the comment section if you see one you like and expand on the idea. Now my very first idea is going to be similar to the movie Iron Man. So let's say our player character was caught in an explosion of a mystical, magical artifact, and perhaps a piece or a shard pierced their heart and killed them instantly. Well, their friends and fellow player characters take them back to the temple and a resurrection is successful with one small fault. They weren't able to get that shard out of the dead PC's chest. So now they have to wear an amulet around their neck and if they don't, then that shard will go through and, fin and pierce their heart once again. So the quest for this scenario, perhaps there is a like a magical magnet or some kind of a solve or something of that nature and the resurrectors actually know where this is and direct the PCs, maybe give them a map, give them some sort of, some sort of direction and now the quest is to go find this so they no longer have to wear that amulet and they can get this final piece or this final shard out of their chest. And the longer they, even though the amulet is keeping it at bay, the longer they keep that in there, maybe they start suffering some type of disease. So that will add a little bit of a priority to this quest to get the shard removed. Now this next quest idea is called Borrow a Body. And I've taken this from the movie called Heaven Can Wait. I believe that was late 70s, early 80s maybe. Now the thought process on this is that the Bring Him Back salon is really busy this time of year and the dead PC is actually on a waiting list to be resurrected. But that's okay because the priests can help this the dead PC out in the meantime, and they are able to put their spirit into the body of another person or another humanoid. So now for the next few adventuring sessions, our dead PC is inhabiting a different body and they only take with them their memories and then their three ability scores, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So as far as a DM goes, there's all types of fun you can have with that. Maybe the body that they're borrowing was in some sort of trouble, and now that body's problems has now become the, the adventuring party's problems because they're out and about in the new skin and things like that. Or maybe after they've been in this body for a while, the player character decides they like this one better, and when their number comes up to be resurrected and taken back to their old body, then maybe they don't want to do that anymore. So a little bit of the dilemma there, but a lot of fun that we can have by having our dead PC spirit borrow a body for a little bit until theirs is ready to be resurrected. The next quest idea I have is called Two-Face, and this is taken from a South Park episode where Cartman drinks uh, takes Kenny's ashes and mixes them up. He thought it was like Ovaltine or some kind of chocolate milk mix. Mixes it up and drinks it. And then Kenny's spirit inhabits Cartman's body. So they are sharing a body. Now, as far as D&D goes, we could do this. Maybe once a player character is dead, the spirit of that player character inhabits one of the other PCs. So the two players are actually sharing a body until the dead PC can be brought back to life. Maybe the dead PC is taken to a temple and some sort of mistake happens and that body or that spirit is put into a body with another person. So the PC actually will have like split personalities for a while or something like that. And in order to get this situation fixed, they will need to find a specific person that can perform 
a ritual to separate the spirits from the same body or something along that line. So uh, I believe this was also used on an episode of Dice Camera Action. I believe Chris Perkins was able to have two of his players in the same body at the same time. So uh, this would be a, a real fun one, especially if you used with two players, but you could also do like a split personality with the player and maybe somebody that's the polar opposite of what that player is. The next quest idea I have for cheating death is called clone. And if you're familiar with the magic user spell at all, once there is a clone made of a, another person, then those two become aware of each other and want to kill the other one. So it becomes their main goal or their main quest to seek out this other one and fight to the death. So let's say our dead PC is taken to the temple, they are resurrected, hooray, and everything goes back to normal. A couple of adventures down the road, DM says you become aware of another presence, another person, another clone of yourself. And now the adventure or the quest begins for the two clones to seek out each other. The next quest idea I have is using a doppelganger. So perhaps the party is in a heavy battle and one of the PCs is unconscious and they fail that final death save and and the other PC maybe the cleric gets over to him but not in time they're like no you know um, watching the life fade from their fallen friend and as they're looking down on them it shape shifts back into the original form of a doppelganger so now we can have a lot of fun with this as far as the the remaining pcs are like you know what the heck you know how long has you know so and so been a doppelganger and as far as the player whose character died then they get to role play the aspects maybe their character has been held captive for a long time and we can have a lot of fun as far as, well, how long has this doppelganger been among us and what has actually happened to the PC while that doppelganger was among us. So quite a few different things that we can do there using a doppelganger. And also don't forget, check out my monster video of the doppelganger right here on this channel. My next quest idea is called To Hell and Back, and this was actually used in an Acquisitions Incorporated episode, I believe as far back as 2010, when Will Wheaton's character was killed. And the premise of this quest is primarily the party tries to bring back their dead friend and the temple is unable to resur resurrect them because the soul is trapped in the Nine Hells. So the rest of the adventuring party needs to travel to the Nine Hells and face this devil and release the soul in order for the player character to come back. The next quest idea is called Scatterbrained, and what I'm thinking here is when the character died or when they are resurrected, that chunks of their memories were just exploded or scattered throughout the realm, throughout the world, throughout the multiverse, and when this PC is brought back to life, they're unable to remember certain things. Perhaps they were the one that had a map ingrained in their head or some passwords or contacts or things like that or perhaps some of their skills are like i can't remember how to cast spells or instead they're really good at arcana or history and now when they make a history or arcana check they have like a negative on there because they can't remember everything but that character that was brought back from the dead they actually know where sections of their memory are so perhaps the section of memory that had the map or some passwords was scattered to a part of the realm and maybe like in like a baker or a bartender or or someone like that in a small town captured the memory so that memory lies within them or maybe it was sent into an an, an adamant object maybe an alchemist there is a potion bottle or or something like that and that memory was mixed into the potion bottle so whoever drinks that potion now gains that memory so all kinds of different fun that you can have there as far as the characters needing the information that that resurrected PC had and now have to quest to go find sections of their memory. My final quest idea is very similar to the movie Face Off and let's say our PC was taken to the temple to be resurrected and the old bring him back mortuary is just full of bodies that need to be brought back to life but unfortunately the spirit of the dead PC was put into the wrong body. Maybe they're resurrected and put into the body of a villainous person. And the body uh, or the spirit of that villain 
was swapped and put into the body of the PC. So now we're actually giving our player an opportunity to play two different characters. They can play they can play their character who is now in the villain's body. So maybe they're out walking around town and they are recognized and arrested or they're recognized by a mob. Maybe they're in debt to the mob or perhaps the villain that was killed, the the group that killed them are like, wait a minute, he's, he's still alive or she's still alive. And then they have to try to evade this group that's trying to kill them again. And at the same time, that same player could also play the villain who is now in their PC's body. And perhaps this villain had an agenda or whatnot, and they're pretty excited that they have a clean slate. They're in a body that's not wanted by the mob or, you know, not marked for death. And maybe now they try to manipulate the other player characters or their adventuring party to try to get this agenda. And the only way to solve all of this, as the priests will tell them once they figure out everything that's going on, is they need to bring both of these people back alive to the temple and then they can perform a ritual to swap the bodies back. So that's all I have for you today. Again, just some ideas. Instead of having a player roll up a new character, perhaps we allow them to be resurrected or brought back in a specific manner and we make some quests of it and have some fun and just kind of go off the wall a little bit. So with that, what did you think? Are there some of these quest ideas you'd like to enhance on or do you have a few ideas of your own? Please uh, comment below. That helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to join Discord if you want to see what's coming up next. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and on to the next.